Hello, welcome back. On this tutorial, I will show you how you can configure login to the GitHub using SSH key on Linux uh, instead of using any password or token. Okay, I'm on my GitHub. Here's my repository. When you click here on the code, you will see two types of URLs. One is HTTPS, it's basically what you're familiar with already, we just saw it. And the second one is SSH. So when you use HTTPS, it will always ask you for username and token. But if you will switch to SSH URL, it will never ask you for username and token. It will just check SSH key. So this, this is what we're going to do. We will generate SSH key and we'll set up the authentication using SSH key. And also we will need to use this URL instead of the HTTPS. Okay, let's generate SSH key and we'll show you how, do, how to configure everything. It's easy, again, it, you, you configure it at once and just forever. Let's go to the shell. The command to generate SSH key on Linux and on Mac is ssh-key again. Key, generate key. Enter. And by default, it will save it in the correct folder with the correct name. It will save it in your home folder, home Dennis, dot ssh. And this is the name of the file. Just don't type nothing. You, 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 you can change the name, but don't, don't change it. Just let it, let, let it create this file. So this will be your private key and the public key you will see. Basically enter, don't enter any password. That's all, it's generated. Let's go to this folder and see what's, what's inside. .ssh. And here we have two files which just generated. So this is a public key, this is a private key. So what, what we need to do is need to cat id rsa.pub basically show the content of it just copy it copy this content of the public key go to the github go to the settings and upload ssh key see here on the left ssh and gpg keys and here ssh key let's add new ssh key my ubuntu like it's a key from my ubuntu and here is my key key type authentication key just edit and it's done that's all right now the public key is here the private key is located in the correct folder it's located you see where i am right now it's in your home directory.ssh with this name idea rsa so linux will by default use this key the git will use by default this key for authentication to ssh let me go to my folder demo Let's clean it up here, git remote-v. So right now it's configured to use HTTPS. We need to change it to use SSH URL. Let's go and take the SSH URL. Our repository. Let's copy SSH URL. I just copy it. Let's go back here. And execute command to change this remote URL. Git remote set url origin okay i need to type origin and I pass the url done git remote it basically this is what we did we changed this to this that's all let's make some changes get status nano file number three for example Hello test. Okay, get status. By the way, you can execute git add and git commit, but you can execute it in one command. Git commit minus am. A it's it's for add, m is for message. Um, dated file three. So basically it's created it added. So execute git status, all good. And just git push it. And right now it will not ask for username and password. Just git push. And just for the first time of connecting using SSH, it will ask you for this one. And just type yes. Permanently added, that's all. So now any changes, let me, let, let me make another change. File tree, new line, git commit commit dash I am add and message update git push much faster you see and it's much more secure by the way 
and refresh what we did today. So on your computer, you generating SSH key using command ssh dash key, key generation after you generate the key it's automatically by default saved in your home for folder in dot ssh uh, subfolder this is your public key content of this public key you need to upload to the github uh, into your account go to the settings ssh dpg key add key and just basically content of this public key uh, copy and paste it here and click add the ssh key and you're done if you are using HTTPS URL of remote repository, like this, for example, so you need to set token in GitHub and login using GitHub username and this token. If you are using SSH URL of remote repository, which is highly recommended, uh, URL will be like this for the GitHub. And you need to set SSH public key in GitHub and login using your private SSH key, which will be in your computer. And the commands which we use today, SSH key again, git remote set URL origin and the URL of uh, SSH remote repository, git remote dash V just to show the settings for the remote, git status, git add, git commit and git push to push your local repository to remote repository. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next lecture. Bye bye.